If you manage to see a large crocodilian while traveling through the neotropical areas of the Americas, it can be one of these three. The first thing you should do is probably make sure you're safe distance away. Then here is a few tips how to tell the difference between the speckled caiman, American crocodile, and the American alligator. The speckled, spectacled caiman, or even white caiman as it is known, would be the smallest of the three crocodilians found in the Americas. They only grow to about 8 feet long, but can still be a formidable foe. They can be found in freshwater habitats like rivers, lakes and marshes. When submerged, they can be identified by their prominent nostril as well as a raised eye. This differs significantly to the American crocodile. The American crocodile have a long, thin head with a low profile on the top. This makes them almost invisible on the water's surface. They are the largest of the crocodilians in the Americas, and adult males can get as big as 20 feet. They have a greenish-gray color and can mostly be encountered basking on a riverbank or near a water system. Although they can be found in fresh water, they are predominantly found in brackish water and can even be seen in saltwater habitat and marshes. The immense size of the American crocodile would easily differentiate it from the speckled caiman. However, when comparing them to the American alligator cousins, the long, thin, pointy snout would be a key factor to distinguish them. The brackish water habitat which they hang out in also would play a role. If you manage to get an up-close look at their mouth, you will see teeth from both the top and bottom jaw. The lighter color would also be an easy way to distinguish them from the darker black American alligator. Finally, we come to the American alligator. They are the least aggressive of all three but still can pose great danger to a human, so stand clear. The American alligator is dark black with a broad snout. They average around 6 to 12 feet long, but males can get as big as 19 feet. This brings them pretty close to the American crocodile for size, but they would always be found in freshwater habitat. All three of these crocodilians are ambush predators, they will feed on anything from fish and reptiles to small mammals and even other crocodilians. Yes, most crocodilians are cannibalistic and although humans are not primarily prey for them, there can be conflicts where they share habitat. Did you know this about the crocodilians of the Americas?